All right guys, so iOS 18.3 has been out for a few days now, and we've been running it ever since it was released on our iPhone 16 Pro Max here. And we have a couple of takeaways I wanna go over with you guys in this video before the public release. The first thing being, this RC build is not ready for prime time, at least from what we're finding. We have seen glitches from the dark mode to the light mode where apps would not transition back and forth as needed. We have seen better battery life, which is a good thing, but we also could have a couple surprises in the form of a final updated build number. So what I mean by that is typically the RC build and the public release usually does align as far as what that final build number will be, but there is some inkling on the back here where we do have a true belief we will see a new dot update for iOS 18.3. The final build number will not be what is in the RC, and that is simply for two minor changes that could be coming. I'm not sure exactly what they could be, but a logical guess could be something in relation to the Black Unity Band, Black Watch Face, and all of that for African American Heritage Month in February. Apple historically has always done something like this. It's awesome to see, and this looks like it could continue, and there could be some code updates for the public release. Typically, they do release and let uh, basically the public know in late January that these will all be available for February and that celebration. Now, aside from the actual issue we have with the app light and dark mode switching, we have seen issues where it has been very laggy in certain situations, not even necessarily directly in regards to Apple intelligence where we have in the past. Sometimes the keyboard still glitches a lot and lags from input. And guys, comment down below. Let us know, are we the only ones experiencing this or are you seeing the same thing as well? But on multiple in instances, whether you're typing a mail, a text message, or just simply going to a website, this has all sprung its head and caused substantial delays and very glitchy behavior. Aside from that, performance as a whole seems to be pretty good. We're not running any benchmarks. They don't necessarily refer to the day-to-day -day usage that everyone has on their phones, but it's something to keep track of in the final release. More exciting is 18.4 that will be coming right after this goes public, and that should have a number of new Apple intelligence features and some other changes as well. We've seen very granular ones here for iOS 18.3, not for Apple intelligence except for the Notification summaries, but maybe priority notifications will be included here. We'll have updates to Siri, better integration with that. Um, it, it obviously remains to be seen, only Apple knows, but that is what to look forward to in the next couple of weeks. Most likely, by this time, next weekend, we should have our first update for 18.4, and we can speak a lot more intelligently to that. But let us know in the comments down below. Like I said, I just wanted to make this video very quick for you guys to have an update on what the status is on this RC. Tell me down below, are you interested in 18.3, really waiting for 18.4, or have you had any significant issues on your device running 18.3 RC? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.